Hello chess lovers, after winning in Gibraltar, Russian chess grandmaster Vladislav Artemyev scored his second big victory of the year, this time winning the 2019 European Individual Chess Championship. Congratulations to Artemyev and in this video would like to share his game played in round 2 against Kaido Kulauts. Let's see what happened on the board. Artemyev at white pieces and he opened up with knight f3, knight f6 by Kulauts and c4. We have the English opening g6, b3, bishop g7, bishop b2, c5 and this time we have g3. White is also going to Fienke to his second bishop and typical ideas of bringing both bishops on the long diagonals are becoming very popular nowadays. b6, yes, black is also fianchettoing his queenside bishop. We have a symmetrical formation and in here white castled kingside d6, e3, black castles kingside and d4. c takes d4, e takes d4 and d5. Well, instead of playing d5, e6 looks more solid but in our game we have d5 which surrenders this e5 square and knight e5 is on the board knight c6 knight c3 e6 rook c1 knight e7 and this time we have bishop a3 a very pleasant diagonal for the dark squared bishop a6 was played and this time we have knight a4 rook e8 and c5 and after b takes c5 the second knight is also finding a very nice outpost Bishop c8. If we have a look at the position, just from nowhere, Artemyev managed to get a very pleasant position. By the way, the same happened also against Zbine Krachek played in round 8. And of course, all of this, the way he's managing to gain space advantage, is very interesting. In here, we have g4, an aggressive move by. Artemyev, which is somewhat weakening White's king side, but at the same time, this can create too many problems for Black. Here, Black moved back his knight on d7, and in here, Artemyev's response was epic. Believe it or not, but he went for a knight sacrifice and captured on f7. Look at this. King takes f7 was played, but it turns out that this is not the end. In here, Artemyev also sacrificed the other knight, and we have knight takes e6. He is simply sacrificing his whole cavalry. But let's see where is White's compensation. King takes e6 was played with rook e1 check and knight e5. Black is giving back one of his knights, otherwise, if move like king f7, then rook takes e7 check is coming. And once the defender is removed, White can capture on d5 and after king f8 can first capture on e7 and then on a8 and of course white has a huge advantage. That's why after rook e1 check black played knight e5. Now comes d takes e5, king f7. Black is looking for a safe shelter for his king, meanwhile white is removing the defender from e7 square and after king takes e7 with bishop takes d5. Although instead of playing bishop takes d5, the engine suggests e6, and if rook a7, then queen f3, and if rook f8, then white queen can start targeting black's king side pawns. But in our game, after king takes e7, we have bishop takes d5, bishop e6. Of course, black could also save his rook by playing rook b8. Although after e6 still white has a dangerous attack, but in our game we have bishop e6 and here Artemyev simply won the rook on a8. Queen takes a8, queen d6 check, king f7, h3. If we have a look at the position against two bishops, white has a rook and three pawns. But still, black's position is very solid and although white has a slight advantage, realizing the advantage turns out to be extremely difficult. Here we have queen e3, bishop e7 and rook takes c8. White is exchanging the rooks and then we have rook c1, queen b7, rook c3, king g7, queen d3. White is looking for weaknesses in black's camp but still black is managing to defend. Bishop b4, we have queen d3, the threat is queen takes h7 followed by queen takes b7. The rook is actually untouchable, that's why black played king g7 and queen f3. Yes, white is insisting on simplifications and finally we have it, the exchange of queens on f3, bishop d2, 
Rook f6, bishop f4, check king g1. Let's see how will white realize his advantage. But black bishops are actually very strong and this is going to be a very tough fight. King e3, meanwhile white is trying to centralize his king. But black bishops are successfully covering all the essential squares, not allowing white king to march forward. Meanwhile, white rook is looking for more weaknesses and we have f4. Bishop b6 check, king f3, g takes f4, king takes f4. White king managed to make a slight progress, but still black is holding a4. Bishop d4, rook c4, bishop f2, king e5. Yes, white king is coming near bishop e1 and then rook c7 check gradually black's position deteriorates and looks like that soon white will manage to realize his advantage still black is not resigning is giving a tough fight meanwhile white king is marching forward rook c1 bishop g3 check king d5 bishop h7 rook c3 of course in here the pawn on h4 is untouchable because black will lose his bishop on h7 that's why after rook c3 we have bishop f4 still black is keeping his bishop on h to b8 diagonal is controlling this essential square not allowing rook c8 rook c7 checks here we have rook c5 king e7 and finally the pawn on a5 drops and once that pawn drops the rest is easy white is first over protecting his pawn on e6 and then the queenside pawns are marching forward. In here we first see g5 check. White is getting rid of black's pawn on h file. After which we have rook c6 and then a6 bishop e3. A desperate move but after b4. Finally we have a resignation because this pawn is simply unstoppable. And in here Kaido Kulauts resigned. The knight sacrifices were actually very spectacular, but it turned out that black's defense was very solid and only on move 78 Vladislav Artemiev managed to force his opponent to resign. In the end, would like to ask you to solve a chess puzzle which is taken from a game played by Vladislav Artemiev and Zbinek Hracek played in round 8 at 2019 European Chess Championship. It's white to move and mate in 3. Post the video, find the solution and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. If you liked this game, give the thumbs up. For more games, consider subscribing to my channel. Also, press the bell button to get notified about new uploads. I will see you in my next video. Take care.